In this lesson, we will examine the features found on the student software you have just installed onto your computer. On your student software, I actually have a pre-prepared document that is currently open. The reason you would want to work with the computer software as opposed to your handheld is that it is much easier to make files on your computer and then save them and then transfer them over onto your handheld when you have your handheld connected to your computer via your USB cable. My current screen display here is what you would see when you were looking at your handheld screen. If I go to the top right hand side of my software and change my view to say computer view, I get a much higher resolution that you can only get on the computer software. I will just go back to handheld view we will look at the features of the menu items across the top, the icons on the row underneath that, and then the icons under the documents toolbox. To change the size of the screen that you can see, you can change your zoom window down the bottom, you can zoom out, you can zoom in, and change that screen size. The menu items across the top are the same as your traditional menu items with many other software. You've got file, edit, view, etc. Now many of the menu items under those words are the same as the icons underneath. So we'll have a look at the icons. The first icon will open new documents for you. So if we click on that, we can open a handheld view or a computer view. So if I choose the first one, I can add in a new document. And notice the tab system across the bottom of your screen. I now have document two that has just opened up. Clicking back onto the first document. The next icon along will open documents that you already have saved. So if I've got documents saved on my computer, I can navigate and find them and open them up. The next button will save documents for you. Coming across to the insert icon, if we choose the insert icon, we can then choose any of the applications and insert a new page. So for instance, if I choose calculator, I get a new page with a calculator application opened. I can undo that command by pressing the undo arrow. The next icon along the VAR key is the same as the one on your handheld keyboard. It gives you a list of all the variables that you currently have. The next icon will change the page layout for you. So if we click on that and choose, say for instance, the first one, we can split our page into two and have two different applications opened on the same page. Once again, I can undo. The little icon of the camera there will take a screen capture for you. And if you click on that, there is a shortcut, which is Control J on your keyboard. So if we do Control J, it has taken a screen capture. I can now view it. I can right mouse click, copy. And then in a Word document, if I paste that in, I now have a screenshot in my Word document. That is useful for reports and assignments. Back on the software. Coming along to the documents toolbox. At the moment, we are in the traditional handheld view here. If you click on that little icon here, you can change the lookout to lights. You can change it to outline, etc. So we'll go back to dark. Your first icon will give you all of the menu items associated with the current application you have open. So I have a graphs application open at the moment. These are the menu items associated with the graphs application. If I was to go to my lists and spreadsheets page or application, the menu items change. The next icon is page sorter. 
that gives you a list of all of the different pages you have opened in your document and you can navigate to the different pages. The next icon is Utilities. That will give you a list of the math templates. You can view all the symbols and the catalogue items as you could on your normal handheld. The final icon is Content Explorer. The top part of your screen will list all of the files on your computer and the bottom screen will list all of the files on your handheld assuming that that is connected to your computer software. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.